Relax in your posture, whether sitting or lying on your back. Visualize yourself within the sarcophagus of the Ascension, the King's Chamber, in the Temple of the Risen One, the Great Pyramid of Giza, as it was before it was desecrated. Begin to breathe deeply through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Hold the breath for seven seconds before exhaling. Do this five times. Let us do this together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And lastly, inhale. and exhale. Now, breathing normally, but with conscious full breath through your nose, visualize your heart and third eye forming a triangle in front of your body. The point where they meet, which is the very center of the triangle, is your entrance portal into the dimensional platform of the TISO protocol. See this point become a bright light. Move your consciousness through this portal. You are being accompanied by the guardian Anubis to guide and protect you. You now find yourself surrounded by violet light this is to focus you as being veiled within a shield under the Michael Mandate of the Violet Flame. You are one in a circle of the many, surrounding the Temple of the Risen One. The top point of the pyramid is on the same level as your solar plexus. This is from the invisible base of the pyramid extending beneath the sands. You see in your hands, as they both come together in front of your solar plexus, the end of a silvery thread. Each of your company, the many, are grasping a thread. All these threads are stretched out in a spiral around the circle, joining at the center of the circle inside the midden chamber of the Temple of the Risen One, which is located in the upper quadrant of the pyramid. Inside this small chamber, you notice that all the threads coming together form a flower of life pattern. Now you become aware that above the Temple of the Risen One is a crowning point of light. This is the zero point entry into the Temple of the Morning Star, the etheric double of the Temple of the Risen One.
In the center of the morning star midden chamber, several beautiful large crystals form. You are guided to move into the light of the crystals as you dance above them in a swirling motion. You are aware of the presence of the Bennu bird, who is the time blender and the many sparkling webs of light around you. You swirl and swirl and blend and blend. Allow the shining ones to move starlight through you. Now you are transported to the center of the Tizo mandala. Focusing on the center of the mandala geometry, you begin to see a flashing double diamond pulsing there. As it pulses, it grows brighter, filling your auric field. At this point, make the declaration, I am a vessel for the full light of Metatron. Know that you stand in this formation, igniting this dynamic at the very door, the threshold of the Sabanath, the zone of substantiation for the transference and rebuilding of the cellular light body to become the pure gem of the new Earth star. The Samanath resides at the center of the Isis Eye, or Areopax. Samanath means sacred enclosure, womb, or holy of holies. It is in the Samanath that the new cell light construction will be made manifest. Allow this flow to take place and build. Overlighting beings of the TZO, the Shining Ones, send the transmission of starlight through you, down the threads, and into your energy body at the center of the TZO mandala, quickening the flashing double diamond at its center. A 
slender arrow of light shoots from the flashing double diamond and out into the TZO planetary grid, striking all the Nadis points on the planet and connecting them to the Pymander Elohim computer at one end and the central sun Atoma of the Earth at the other. This arrow becomes a lightning rod of pure spiritual power. The Sabana opens. The angelic Adonai Sabayoth comes streaming out of the heavens, moving as both a light and a sound. They surround the entire hollow field, moving just above and behind the Tizo planetary field and encircling all within the Tizo dynamic. The auras of these angelics are beautiful and glowing, surrounding their heads as magnificent aureoles of light and splendor. Their sounding of crystal voices fills you. Allow this whole protocol to seep through into your cells, your heart, and your mind so that it becomes second nature for you to activate and accomplish in just a few minutes, yet powerfully in out-of-time quantum relativity. Once deeply embedded into your light body, the TISO protocol will work with the whole shifting of Oratron half-light to Metatron full light on the planet. As this planetary shift takes place in earnest, no true evil of any kind will be able to find foothold in this realm. It will implement an exorcism of grand proportions so that all Earth's souls are freed from servitude to the Archons who hold these dark powers. It is then that humanity can begin to sort out their personal, lesser emotions and clear them more easily from their cells and light bodies without the constant infusion of dark programming by the Archonic Cloud. The affirmation is, the seals will be broken open and light will reign eternal upon the earth. And so it is. Once you have worked with this video repeatedly for a time, you may go to the short version. Whenever possible, focus on the Tizo mandala while executing this protocol. Touch the third finger of your right hand to your heart. Say aloud or silently, I am at the center of the Tizo lectic field. I am projecting my higher energy frequency to all Nadis nodes on Earth. I am Gaia's channel to quicken and connect them to the Tizo grid. They are now activated, connected, and working in synergic harmony for the full restoration of the planet. All violations are hereby in this instant nullified. I summon the angelic powers to assist in the activation. And so it is. <laughs>